Heaven's Dilemma, Why I Returned While My Husband Stayed Behind. Embarking on the labyrinth of time, my spouse and I navigated the intricate corridors of high school, weaving the fabric of an intricate relationship. The tapestry unraveled during the college epoch, severed by the tenuous thread of a long distance. As our individual narratives diverged, we etched separate chapters in life, exploring diverse experiences and entangling with other relationships. The echoes of our shared past persisted, reverberating through digital realms. Social media became the canvas for unsent messages, lingering sentiments defying temporal constraints. In the ebb and flow of time, the currents of reconnection swept us back into each other's orbit, where the undying embers of affection glowed. Yet, the decision to reunite bore the weight of past struggles, a hesitant contemplation gripped by the fear of dormant issues resurfacing. Despite trepidations, our authentic emotions emerged triumphant, prompting a courageous leap back into the embrace of love. The reunion, a resolute decision, unfurled as an elixir, fortifying the sinews of our connection. We embarked on an odyssey of renewed investment, dedicating time and fostering open communication, thereby enriching the tapestry of our shared existence. A year post-reconciliation, the nuptial ties were woven into our narrative, and a picturesque sojourn to Hawaii awaited us. Yet, the homeward-bound trajectory deviated into the unexpected lanes of adversity. Weather-induced flight delays laid the groundwork for a calamitous car accident on our journey back from the airport. Fatigue cast its ominous shadow, entwining us in the chaos of a collision. In the pandemonium of impact, time elongated into a surreal continuum. My consciousness detached, an observer to the unfolding tableau. The wreckage, the smoky aftermath, the apparent stillness of our corporeal forms, all presented a tableau of vulnerability. My cries for aid echoed into the void, my senses shrouded in a cocoon of dark. In this otherworldly juncture, the anticipated tunnel eluded my perception, plunging me into an abyss of utter darkness. This deviation from the anticipated narrative struck me as peculiar, defying the expectations moulded by analogous stories. In the ageless void, a paradoxical sense of safety and tranquility enveloped me. A transition transpired, projecting me into a space where the entirety of my existence unfolded like a meticulously scripted film. The reel of my life, vivid and evocative, unspooled before me with an almost tactile childhood and adolescence, joyous and dolorous fragments danced across the screen, beckoning me to relive those pivotal epochs. The people and experiences that painted the canvas of my journey resurfaced, each moment reverberating with profound intensity. This unique retrospective bestowed upon me an emotional immersion, transcending mere observation. Beyond the visual tableau, I traversed the emotional landscapes of those entwined in my narrative. Their relation echoed in my soul, and their sorrows resonated, amplifying my attunement to the intricate tapestry of human emotions. It felt akin to participating in an expansive cosmic game, where each action became a currency, generating or deducting points a gamified existence laden with guilt and remorse. As the significance of this celestial point system crystallized, a potent force propelled me toward an ethereal radiance, an enigmatic light heralding unprecedented happiness and tranquility. My innate curiosity surged, urging me to probe the essence of this celestial abode. The radiant entity, resembling a conical form comprised of myriad points of light, emanated an aura of sanctity and gravity. The journey unfolded like a cosmic ballet, characterized by perplexity and bursts of illumination. 
thrust into the enigmatic radiance, a formidable force thwarted my attempts at ingress. Repeated endeavours unveiled the root of this resistance. Deep-seated resentment, an emotional bulwark obstructing passage into the realm of it. The realisation dawned that grudges harboured against specific individuals erected an impenetrable barrier to the world of life. Acknowledging the imperative to dismantle this mental fortress, I immersed myself in the act of forgiveness, a deliberate release of resentment and fury. This transformative decision not only bestowed a sense of liberation, but also served as the key to accessing the luminosity within. Within this cosmic sanctuary, an extraordinary force enveloped me, a visceral encounter with unconditional love and acceptance. This celestial embrace bestowed unparalleled joy and fulfilment, cocooning me in a haven of safety and serenity, emancipating me from the shackles of worry and anxiety. It was akin to becoming an integral facet of an expansive wave of love, propelling me into a realm of rebirth, authenticity and unparalleled freedom. Navigating toward the epicenter of this radiant brilliance unveiled an ethereal vista, an idyllic heaven bedecked with luminescent flora surrounding a tranquil lake. Radiant beings reveled in the paradisiacal splendor, crafting a tableau that transcended imagination. The immersive experience encapsulated a novel perspective on life. As I began to emit a radiant glow, the luminous entities around me greeted with warm smiles, conjuring a space imbued with love and tranquility. The allure of lingering in this celestial haven, basking in the euphoria, was potent. Abruptly, a resplendent angel, adorned with glistening wings and a benevolent countenance, crossed my path. She elucidated her role in aiding newcomers at climate to the celestial existence. Inviting me to explore heaven's wonders, we traversed squares and resplendent gardens, reuniting with departed loved ones and friends savouring the heavenly abundance. As the angel hinted at resuming duties, my expression of gratitude for this celestial sojourn met with her assurance that my sojourn was far from concluded. Yet, the inevitability of returning beckoned. Despite my reluctance, the angel patiently elucidated that earthly missions and goals awaited completion. Grudgingly assenting, the angel escorted me to the exit, expressing my reluctance to depart this utopian realm. The angel reassured perpetual welcome, albeit my earthly duties called. Inexplicably, the darkness embraced me anew, and to my surprise, my husband materialized within. Our jubilant embrace was tinged with a revelation. He couldn't return. His earthy tenure had reached its final. Tearfully, he affirmed his eternal presence alongside celestial beings, poised to aid in times of tribulation. Professing love, he implored me to persist in living and accomplishing my earthy tasks. Despite the heart-wrenching sorrow, I relinquished his hand, witnessing his gradual vanishing into the radiance, harboring the unwavering belief of our reunion. A sudden vertigo enveloped me, and I found myself back at the crash scene, reconnecting with my corporeal form. A seismic jolt accompanied the return to consciousness. As my eyes unveiled the hospital setting, the absence of my husband loomed. Amidst fractures and breaks, the comprehension of his contentment in the celestial expanse permeated the healing period, marked by moments of longing. Gratitude for this ineffable encounter deepened my comprehension of life's essence, fostering a profound appreciation for each day and a prioritization of physical well-being. The supportive individuals and the cocoon of love and concern during tumultuous times became invaluable. Empowered and resolute, I am poised to confront the vicissitudes and trials that lie ahead.